Okay, so recently there's been lots of controversy about Kevin Owens' weight. WWE seems to not like the fact, now they don't like the fact, that he's fat. Even though they hired the guy, Triple H, Vince McMahon, Kevin Dunn, they knew that this guy was, a f he was, that he was overweight. They knew it. But a few weeks ago, Randy Orton cut a promo. He was cutting a promo, and he mentioned, uh, he said, hey, hey, Kevin. He's talking to Kevin Owens, and, and uh, he said, hey, Kevin, you put on some weight? Kevin Owens said no. And uh, from the looks of it, that was a uh, unplanned line from Randy Orton or something. You know, Kevin Owens wasn't expecting it, okay? Or maybe it was told to say it by someone. People have, there have been rumors saying that it was, Kevin Dunn who did it, but it wasn't. It wasn't Kevin Dunn or Orvis McMahon. Nobody knew who, 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 who gave Randy Orton this line. It may just have been Randy Orton saying it. Who knows? But uh, recently, then this past week on Raw, um, there was a sign in the crowd, right in the, in the entrance area, the front row of the entrance, uh, where the wrestlers enter, and it's a sign that said, Fat Owens Fat spoofing fight Owens fight and they showed this as it was as clear as day the, the Kevin Dunn who is in charge of the production side of WWE he made sure to for, for this to get seen and from what I've heard it was his you know he's the one who wanted to be seen so he, he thought it was funny and this like man and, and Kevin Dunn supposedly they actually liked this Kevin Owens you know you know Randy Orton calling out Kevin Owens' weight a few weeks ago. So, obviously, this has caused a firestorm on the internet. Wrestling fans are very upset about this. I'm somewhat upset about it, too, because why push a guy? Why push a guy if you're just going to, you know, push a guy if you're just going to de-push him a few weeks, a few months later? And they do this all the time. And it's ridiculous. It's so stupid. You knew the guy was fat. You knew he was overweight. You knew it. You knew he... He wrestled in his shorts and a t-shirt, but you know, you know, it's it, you knew it, but you still bought him up to the main roster. You put him over John Cena. It looked like he was going to be a ne the next top heel in the company. Then boom, boom, done. He's just a mid carder now. He's just a mid carder, just like everyone else. But hey, this has happened a, a million times with John Cena. John Cena has feuded with feuded with a guy who was on the rise, and. He beats him, and that's it. This has happened several times in the last year or two. Um, Rusev, Bray Wyatt, um, you know, and, and they're not they're not mid Carters, I would say yet. Rus Rusev and Bray Wyatt, they're not like Zack Ryder or Adam Rose or Heath Slater, but they're they're definitely not main eventers. Bray Wyatt and Rusev, and most certainly. At least on the main roster, Kevin Owens is not a main eventer. On NXT, sure, of course, he's a main eventer. But not on the main roster, not on Raw, not on SmackDown, not on pay-per-views. And he, he definitely has the promo skills, he has the wrestling skills, and he grew on me at first when he first showed up. Because I, I, I didn't follow his in independent career. And when he showed up, I was like, I don't really see anything in this guy. Then over time, he grew on me, and I started to like, especially his promos. I like his promos. He seems very natural on the mic. He doesn't seem like, you know, he's being fed lines or he's re reading from a script. You know, he, he's very uh, uh, natural on the mic. But uh, in his wrestling skills, the only thing I don't like about his wrestling skills, he does do a lot of chin locks, but he does it to piss people off. So I understand why he does it. So that, besides that, that's the only really negative I have on him is just his chin locks, just too many chin locks. But uh, so Kevin Owens, the question is, will he ever recover from this? All of this negativity towards his weight. Well, first thing he could do is lose weight. You know, the guy's like, what, 31 years old. You know, uh, he's been like this pretty much his entire wrestling career for the most part. Most recently, especially the last five, six years, he's been overweight. From what I understand, maybe he was very thin at first when he first started out. I'm not sure, but uh, he's overweight right now. Will he ever lose weight? Will he ever get into shape? I doubt it. I don't. I don't think that he sees. I don't think that he sees. Look, it's his decision. If he wants to be fat, that's his. That's his decision. I'm not gonna. I'm just saying, if he wants to be in the upper echelon, 
if he started to work out more, got into shape, he might get a little bit more of a push. Who knows? You just never know. That was one of the things that happened to, uh, something similar happened to uh, Chris Hero um, a few years ago. Uh, he was on NXT. He just d- did not have the best physique. He wasn't fat, but he wasn't in great shape. He didn't really have any muscle, really, a little bit. But, you know, he was not, but he was not fat like Kevin Owens. And WWE didn't want to, you know, use him really because he did not want to get into the get into into good sh- into really good shape. He did not want to build muscle because Triple H and Vince McMahon they love, you know, bodybuilding and stuff like that. So, uh, Kevin, o- so so we, Chris Hero, who was then known in NXT as Cassius Ono, uh, was I think he quit or was released. I guess he was released because he didn't want to. He did not want to train the way that WWE wanted him to train. And that was pretty much the reason why he left. Uh, but I'm sure there were many other reasons, too, why he left. That was one uh, one of the main reasons. So this is not the first time WWE has had issues with guys who don't want to get into, um, you know, into, into the kind of shape that, you know, a John Cena's in or Roman Reigns or whatever. And then they're never going to be like that. They're, it's what WWE has to realize. And nobody really cares anymore about... Uh, you know, nobody really cares if a guy looks like Lex Luger. Nobody cares about that anymore. Sure, maybe to an outsider, if they see Kevin Owens on TV, it's like, this guy doesn't look like a wrestler. But then he'll prove them wrong when he talks, when he wrestles. He'll prove them wrong. So it doesn't even matter, you know? Look, I can understand if Kevin Owens was a bad wrestler, was, couldn't talk. You could say, why is this guy being pushed? It's ridiculous. But he can speak. He can speak. He's one of the better talkers in WWE right now, and he's one of the better workers. So there's no reason why WWE should be treating him like this, and there was no reason to even bring him up to the main roster if they were going to treat him like this. But it's just the way they do things. They've done it so many times. You look at the past, uh, the past guys they've brought up. This, oh, they always do this. They put the guy through the ringer. <laughs> they they try to. They, so it's like they I think they're doing this almost to kind of see if he cracks. You know, if he, if he, they're they're testing him. You know, if he if he if he goes through this test of being de pushed, of being buried. Well, I wouldn't say he's being buried. You know, he hasn't lost a million matches since uh, since he's lost to John Cena. He's lost one or two maybe, but he hasn't been buried. You know, most of the time he just walks out. You know, and it's a count out or whatever during a match. But uh, you know, so. I'm interested to see what happens with his career over the next few years. I don't think he's going to be winning any world titles anytime soon. Unless it's like the NXT Championship. Um, you know, he may be a U.S. champion, intercontinental champion at some point, obviously. But world championship, I don't think it's in his future anytime soon. You know, um, but hey, maybe you never know what could happen. Maybe, you know... In a few months, maybe the WWE will finally decide, hey, you know, we got something good here. We need to just push this guy um, and push him to the moon and put the tile on him. You just never know. You never know what's going to happen. 